Nick Juber from the Freelance Space. Today we're going to show you how to set up email subscriptions for MailChimp using Gravity Forms. We already have one of these forms set up on the Freelance Space. It looks like a pretty normal contact page form. First name, last name, email, message. And then right down here is where all the magic happens. This is set up with uh, Gravity Forms and MailChimp with a double opt-in. So what happens is if anybody sends us a message through this contact form, it gives them an option to subscribe to our email list. By default, it's set to yes, but like I said, there's a double opt-in, so they'll get an email confirming whether they want to actually be on our email list or not. So in order to use this, you need to have two things. You need to have a subscription to Gravity Forms, and then you have to have a free MailChimp account set up. You also need to go in to MailChimp and get the API for the account that you want to set it up with. Now, assuming you have all those things in place, we'll go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is go into Forms, into your WordPress dashboard, and then go to Add-ons. These are all the add-ons that you could possibly stick onto Gravity Forms. They're already built. There's a ton of these. We're going to just go down here to MailChimp, uh, Install, and then Activate. Now, this is going to take you into the Plugins and you want to go down to the MailChimp, Gravity Forms, Settings. This is where you're gonna drop in your MailChimp API key. You're gonna put that right in there and then check for this little green check mark to make sure you're all set and then hit Update Settings. Now, from this point, you need a new form. So you're gonna go into Forms and create a new form. Gravity Forms always starts out with a brand new fresh form. So we're going to add a couple pieces that we need to make this work. You can obviously add or subtract pieces depending on the form that you need. So we'll throw in a single line text. We'll go under advanced field and throw a name and an email in there. Now, what we want to do is come under here under post fields and add a custom field in. Now, post custom field gives you a lot of options. There's a lot of different things that you can do here. So we're going to pick what we want. We'll do radio buttons. And we can edit our choices here. This is what it looks like stock. We'll just delete the third choice because we don't need that one. And we'll put in yes and no. And this is what this piece is going to look like on our new form. And that's it. Uh, if you want to, by default, select yes or no. Uh, we'll add in yes for now. And we'll make sure that this one is required. So they have to answer that before they could submit their form. That's it. We'll update this form here. And now we'll hop in under settings. Under form settings, we'll go to MailChimp. Create a new feed. We'll pick from our MailChimp list. This particular one has two lists. Now, what we want to do is make sure that we're mapping these fields, right? So email address is going to come from email and name, first and last. That's all the information that we want from this form. We're selecting double opt-in. Again, double opt-in will uh, make it so the user who submits this form will also get an email uh, where they'll confirm whether or not they want to be put on this list. Now, this is the one piece that we need to make it happen. Under conditional logic, we're going to enable a condition. And if do you want to be added to this email list is a yes, then they'll be added to MailChimp. It's that easy. So we'll update the settings. And that's done. The next step is to add that to a page or a post or wherever we want it. 
So we'll add that to a new post. Add form. We'll select the form. New form is the name of it. We'll insert it. Publish it. Here's the new post with our new form. You see all the pieces that we added in with gravity forms. And at the bottom, the one piece that's going to make it all happen is right here. So we'll go ahead and fill this form out. Now, when I fill out these forms for testing purposes, I like to use names and email addresses that don't make any sense, so I don't confuse them with actual emails from people that are trying to get a hold of me. But for this particular instance, you need to make sure that you're using an email that comes back to you, because otherwise the MailChimp integration won't work. So we have the information all filled out in the form, and we have yes selected, and remember that was by default from the form that we built. And we'll go ahead and submit that. And there we go, the form was submitted, and we wait for the email. So that form is going to generate two emails for testing purposes. One is going to be the form letting us know that we had an email submission, and that's this one here, the new submission from new form. That's the website telling us you got a new form submission. Here's the information that we entered. The second email, if all was done right, is going to be from MailChimp, and this one is going to get you subscribed to the to the list. So this is what your users who click that yes button are going to see. This is part of the double opt-in. So we're going to go ahead and add them to that list. Confirm our humanity. It's important. And they've been added. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and and hop in Mailchimp and just confirm all that went through as planned. And there is uh, John Bon Hovey added today just now. So that's it. That is how to set up your email subscriptions for MailChimp using Gravity Forms. Let me know if you have any other questions. This has been another freelance space presentation with Nick Jubry.